Headaches can be quite debilitating, although the vast majority are not due to life-threatening disorder. Approximately 90% of headaches fall into one of three categories. Tension-type headaches, cluster headaches, and migraine. Tension headache usually involves both sides of head and is described as pressure or tightness, which waxes and wanes. Cluster headache is always unilateral and usually begins around the eye or temple. Pain begins quickly and peaks within minutes. Pain is described as deep, continuous, excruciating, and explosive in quality. Cluster headaches usually last 30 minutes to 3 hours. It is associated with tearing and redness of the eye on the same side as the headache, runny nose, sweating, and rarely neurologic deficits. Migraines are painful, throbbing headaches that often start on one side of the head. Onset is gradual and builds up with time. Migraine is usually pulsating headache, moderate and severe in intensity, and aggravated by routine physical activity. It may cause nausea and vomiting and make you sensitive to light, sound, or smell. About 20% of people with migraines experience symptoms before the headache. This is called aura. Aura may include flashing lights or bright spots, zigzag lines, changes in vision or numbness or tingling in one of the fingers of one hand, lips, tongue, or lower face. Auras may involve other senses and can occasionally cause temporary muscle weakness or speech problems. These symptoms can be frightening. Without treatment, migraines can last from hours to a few days. Medicines can help prevent migraines or stop them after they have started. Your doctor can help you find which ones work best for you. Follow-up care is key part of your treatment and safety. Be sure to go to your appointments and call your doctor if you are having problems. It's a good idea to know your test results and keep a list of medicines you take. How can you care for yourself at home if you have migraines? Do not drive if you have taken a prescription of pain medicine. Rest in a quiet, dark room until your headache is gone. Close your eyes and try to relax or go to sleep. Don't watch TV or read. Put a cold, moist cloth or cold pack on the painful area for 10 to 20 minutes at a time. Put a thin cloth between the cold pack and your skin. You can also use a warm or moist towel or a heating pad set on low to relax tight shoulder and neck muscles. Have someone gently massage your neck or shoulders. Take your medicines as prescribed. Call your doctor if you think you are having a problem with your medicine. Be careful not to take pain medicine more often than instructions allow. You could get worse or have more frequent headaches when the medicine wears off. To prevent migraines, have a headache diary. Keep a headache diary so you can figure out what triggers your headaches. Avoiding triggers may help you prevent headaches. List anything that may have triggered your headache. Triggers may include birth control pills, fatigue, hunger, head trauma, stress from separation, divorce, job changes, changes of environment or habits, skipping meals, schedule changes, irregular physical activity, sensory stimuli such as strong light, flickering lights, loud noise, certain foods such as chocolates, cheese, and wine. Odors, smoke, bright light or stress or lack of sleep can also trigger migraines. Some medications may also trigger migraines such as hydralazine, which is a medicine used to treat high blood pressure, and nitroglycerin, which is used to treat chest pain. In your headache diary, it is important to record when each headache began, how long it lasted, and what the pain was like. Was it throbbing, aching, sharp, stabbing, or dull? Write down any other symptoms you had with a headache such as nausea, flashing lights or dark spots, sensitivity to bright light or loud noise. For women, note if headache occurred near your period. Your doctor may have given migraine medicine that you only take when you get a migraine, and migraine medicine that you take all the time to help prevent migraines. If your doctor prescribed migraine medicine for when you get a headache, take it at the first sign of a migraine unless your doctor has given you other instructions. If your doctor has prescribed medicine to prevent migraines, take it exactly as prescribed. Call your doctor if you think you are having a problem with your medicine. Find healthy ways to deal with stress. Migraines are most common during or right after stressful times. Take time to relax before and after you do something that has caused a migraine in the past. Try to keep your muscles relaxed by keeping good posture. 
When you sit at a desk, change positions often. Make sure to stretch for 30 seconds each hour. Get plenty of sleep and exercise. Eat meals on a regular schedule. Avoid foods and drinks that often trigger migraines. These include chocolate, alcohol, aspartame such as NutraSweet, tyramine, and monosodium glutamate. It also includes nuts and some additives in foods such as nitrites or nitrates, which are present in hot dogs, bacons, cold cuts, aged cheeses, and pickled foods. To prevent migraines, limit caffeine. Don't drink too much coffee. Avoid sodas. But don't quit caffeine suddenly as that can also cause migraines from caffeine withdrawal. Do not smoke or allow others to smoke around you. If you need help quitting, talk to your doctor about smoking cessation programs, nicotine patches or gums and medicines. If you are taking birth control pills or home therapy, talk to your doctor about whether they are triggering your migraines. If you snore and have daytime sleepiness, Ask your doctor about getting a sleep study, as sleep apnea can also cause headaches. When should you call for help? Call your local emergency if you have signs of stroke, if you have the worst headache of your life, sudden severe headache that is different from past headaches, severe dizziness, sudden numbness, paralysis or weakness in your face, arm or leg, sudden vision change, as this may be symptoms of stroke. Call your doctor or seek immediate help if you have new or worse nausea and vomiting, or if you have a new or higher fever, watch closely for changes in your health and be sure to contact your doctor if you are not getting better after two days. If you like this video, please click the like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell. Be healthier!